Okay, I'm here with Alex, and he has done a neat uh, summer reading project for school, and I just wanted to show it. And also, uh, his teachers, if they want to see how he did this, they can always watch this video too, right? Yes, it uses, right, and it's using uh, a program called Scratch, which is an object-oriented programming language. The way I would describe it is a neat programming language for for kids. It's a, a yeah, neat beginner yeah. uh, object oriented, and it uses these little preset functions. What do you call those, Alex? Scripts. Scripts. Duh. <laughs> and can you just kind of show how you pick and choose from a list of? Uh, sure. Like if you wanted to do. There's a, different categories over here that you just sort of. Those are and different categories. Underneath those are different commands. Okay, like, give an example. Um, okay, so I'll show one of the scripts on here. So, I for my project, the background is um, the mountains, mm -hmm. sort of. So what I do is I have that, I say when... The green flag is what uh, you click to start the program to run. Uh -huh. Obviously, red stop sign means stop. Um, when you, uh, I said when green flag clicked, switch to background and mountains. I titled it mountains, so it switches. It has this as its background. And you just drag and drop those scripts from the list over there yep. on the left. It's really simple. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's simple to you, but. But old, because you've yeah. used it a while, but <clears throat> for someone who's just beginning in programming, it's kind of neat because it helps <clears throat> them. They don't have to sit and write functions. And let me let me show you another okay. program. Well, I'll have to get to it. Why don't you run the let it run? I am okay. And then show how. Okay, so right here, whenever I hover over it, it turns this blue color. What I did with that is I have one costume. These are called costumes. You can have, like, change the way it looks instead of just making a whole nother sprite, which is a whole nother figure. Well, I have two different costumes, one of how it looks regularly and one of how it looks when I uh, hover over it. So I say, if touching mouse pointer, switch to costume two. So if it's touching the mouse pointer, it'll switch to this costume. And if it's not touching mouse pointer, it'll just switch right back to costume one. So you have so if and statements yeah. built, you know, that you can... Mm -hmm. Why don't you run through the, what you actually, uh, you know, right. made, which is your school project. Wait, can you show that? This is simple. This is just typing stuff. It has really let me Let me just tell them what it is. You did a book review. You actually read the book The Hobbit. And now this... Not really a, re a review. It's sort of like an interactive... Uh, well, I know, but you read the book The Hobbit for your summer book project. Yeah. And you had a choice of doing different uh, types of projects on on that book, right? Okay, yeah. You so, um, you, what I... You could have made some other type of... Yeah. Like a poster so or something like the this. The reason I decided to do this is um, there was an option to do this thing called One True Media. And I tried doing that, and I didn't really like it as much. So, I decided to do my own only on this program, Scratch. Because I'm more familiar with this, I've been using it longer. And I and I encouraged Alex to get into this because later on, I'm sure, hopefully, I'll uh, he'll be able to go into more detailed programming, mm -hmm. and uh, along with a lot of other things he's learning. But why don't you show the actual project as, as it's finished? Is there a way to show it a larger? Um, well, if we make it full screen, it's kind of, you know, there you go. That's not fine. very good quality, but... Well, that's fine. At least I can see it better on the video. Oh, okay. So kind of go through it. All right, so this on here, I have a main characters list, which it's an interactive. You just, you can click one, and it shows the characters. This is a picture, actually, from the Fellowship of the Ring, the movie, mm -hmm. which is the first in the Lord of the Rings series. But that's Bilbo, right? Yep. Yeah, that's Bilbo. But he's actually the main character in this book. So, yeah. So if you go back, who are the other characters? Gandalf. That's I think that's also from Fellowship of the Ring. Um, 
And then this other guy, Thorin. I couldn't really find a realistic picture of him. So I That's had... good. You've got the yeah. summary there of him. Alright. And then... Next. Next. It's just a quick review. And then I had this little thing. Want me to show the programming for that? Five stars. What What did you do for extra credit? You could, You wrote something about uh -huh. the... This was about the author. Yeah. Which, which I think shows is cool. his childhood. This is like a postcard. So for extra credit on the school project, you mm -hmm. you had you included you had to include something about the author. Mm -hmm. So you did this and scratched as part of your project. Yes, that's cool. Who is Tolkien? J.R. Tolkien. J. So you've got something about his childhood. His education. And then next is other titles he's written and influences. That's and cool. And then just click. And it's the credits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then thanks for watching at the very That's end. pretty That's cool. That's kind of what I have at the end of every. So, um, <laughs> where's the, where is the pro? We printed out the project oh. just so the teacher will have something to put to her put a, a plus on. on. Oh, and here's a copy of the book. <laughs> There's the, the copy of the book. That's cool. The lighting's bad in here, yeah. but it's okay. Kind of hold it up in front. Yeah, let me zoom back out here. Kind of of a blown up version. So we printed a we printed a copy, uh, so that the teacher would have something tangible, you know, because this this is going to be basically <laughs> his project's going to be it's stored online, right, Alex? Right. At the scratch.edu. Dot. It's scratch.mit.edu. Okay, so this is a pro scratch is an MIT project. Yes. Right, mm -hmm. which is kind of neat itself, and hold that back just a little bit that way so I can get the whole thing in. Now the second page describes, and we, we did this for the teacher basically so she would know, and other people who want to know uh, where the project is, it just kind of describes it and it gives the URL. Let me see right if I can see. Here. Yeah, hold that still well. And so if anybody who's watching this video wants to go see Alex's project. You can link it in the video too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or that. But, so anyway, we printed out basically some screenshots. What was the basic plot? Uh, you don't have to do the whole thing. Uh, Just... Well, basically, uh, Bilbo and Gandalf and Thorin are going on this quest to the Lonely Mountains where they're trying to reclaim their treasure from this dragon smog. Cool. Basically. It's not as in depth as the other Lord of the Rings, but but it's a classic. It's a so. yeah. It, it was actually published in 1937, so it's pretty old. Well, that's pretty cool, Alex. I'm proud of you. You did a good job. And I'm sure you put as much work into there into your oh, it took forever summer book project as a lot of kids did. How many hours do you think you worked on this programming? Maybe five, four, three. Is that all? Yeah, I know you worked uh, more than three. Yeah. I know you worked more than four. Yeah, more than probably. You know, I worked on it an hour just printing it out. <laughs> yeah, maybe this. maybe even ten. Yeah. What we should do, you know, what we should do, we should go to the website and show how people can sh can look at it. Why don't you do that right quick? Go to the website. Yeah, go to the website right quick. And it's scratch.mit.edu. Yep. And then you can search for... You can actually go to forums and this... I think there's like some tutorials around here on how to... Okay, okay. I'm saying if oh. they want to find you, oh. they can go to scratch.mit.edu yeah. and then search for... Well, I don't know what to search for. What's your username? Well, I have two usernames for this. This one is uh, NPMMM... For this NPM... school project. Yes, NPMM school projects. Normal Park Museum Magnet School is what NPMM School yep. Projects. Yep. Well, we'll put a link to the URL and I'll show what happens if you click on it there. I'll zoom in. And it, it has a description that. That's the scratch. Like. That's what the scratch page looks like. Okay, that's pretty cool. For some reason, it it switches faster, like it has a faster reaction on the website. It seems. 
when I click it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, well, you did a good job, Sam. Cool. Congratulations. Freaky close-up time. <laughs> <laughs>